there. So today I want to walk you through how to set up your documents for proper MLA format. So when we're looking at this document, it's blank. Um, so it's from the very beginning. So I'm just going to start from the very top of what to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up what is called the header. So if you double click in this top area, it will open the header, but you could also come up to the menu bar and click insert and then come down to where it says headers and footers and get your header from there. But I really like just double clicking because it's quick and easy. All right, so now that we're in the header, um, your cursor should be right here. It's about half an inch down from the top of the margin, which is where you want it. Now, then we're gonna come over here to our align menu or align button, and we're going to choose the right align. So right there, um, now we're on the, left, the right margin, and we're gonna type in our last name. We're gonna type in our last name and then hit the space key in order to give us a space. The next thing we need to do is enter um, a page number. But we don't wanna just hit one because if we hit just one, that's going to put one on every single page of your document. We actually wanna to go to the menu uh, bar and scroll down until we get to page numbers. Once we're on the page numbers, we're going to come over and we're going to choose this one right here. See, it shows you one, two, so that means that every page is going to have a different page number on it, and it's also going to be on the right margin, like so. It should show on your document as being grayed out. That tells you that it is uh, the right format. Now, what you may notice is that if you look here, it says that this font is in Arial and 11. Because we're using MLA format, we need to change that to Times New Roman and 12 point font. So make sure to do that. Go ahead and do it if you're following along. Once you have done this, all you have to do to get out is to click into the main document and it will handle that for you. So now we're in our main document and you'll see that it says it's Arial 11 point font. So let's just go ahead and change that. We need it to be Times New Roman for proper MLA format and we need it to be 12 point font. So let's change that before we type anything. The last thing that we wanna do before we start typing anything is to change our line spacing. So right now, our line spacing is going to be in single page or possibly one and a half, and we want it to be double. Let me say that again. Your line spacing for your document needs to be double spaced for MLA format. So to do that, we're gonna come up here to our toolbar again, and we're gonna click this where it says line and paragraph spacing it is the icon that looks like this it has the three little lines and the double arrow so click it and you'll see that right now it's set up at 1.15 not 1.5 or even single and we want it double just double all right so let me click on that again. You'll see there's lots of different options here. We don't want to add additional spaces. We don't want to do custom spacing. We want to leave it double and we want it to say prevent single lines because that means that it won't uh, put a single line of a paragraph on the next page. All right, so now that we've clicked double, we're in our main document and we are set up and ready to start typing. So the first thing that we're going to type is our head in. This is the header up here. Now we're typing what's called a heading. And we're gonna start with first and last name. So you're gonna type in your first and last name into the document. Um, my pronouns are showing up, but we don't want those. Um, it's not really the right format for that. So once you've done that, click enter. You'll see, oh look, it's double space. Next is the name of your teacher. In this case, it's me. So there we go. And then after that, we have the course name. A lot of you like to put in your periods for this. That's 
unnecessary. We just need the, the formal course name, which could be English 1, English 2, Creative Writing, Film Studies, whatever it is that I'm currently teaching. Um, and then once one more enter, and now we're going to put in our date. Now this is one that always trips students up because we don't use the American format. For some reason, MLA likes to use the European or international or English, um, British English format for date. So to do that, we start with what is our due date? Let's do the due date. So we're gonna do the day first. Um, so I'm using the seventh. Then we're gonna put in our month. December and then finally it's the year here we go that is what your date should be formatted to look like one more enter the next thing that goes in is the title right here traditionally uh, your title is centered on the page so let me show you how to do that again to center I'm going to come up to the toolbar I'm going to hit the align one which is the one that has all of these little lines long lines small lines long lines small lines long lines click that and then come to the one that is centered which is right there and then i'm going to click it and now i am here for my title so for this i'm going to just put mla format okay you'll notice that my title is the same uh, style it's the same size as everything else now here is is something that often trips up students when I hit enter my document is still centered it is very important at this point that you put this back to the left margin and you can do it by coming up to the toolbar but there really is just an easier way just click the delete or the backspace uh, key depending on what type of computer you have and it takes you back to that traditional left margin which is where we want it to be to start typing our document we're gonna just hit the tab key remember we're not gonna do this one two three four five we're not gonna use the space bar to indent that is wrong 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 we are going to 100% use the tab key. And if you wanted to get really technical with this, um, there's a, actually a better way to do this because if you were submitting a manuscript to someone, um, the tab key often doesn't, doesn't format properly. So you could also go to file, down to page setup, and then where it says, um, hmm, I apologize. I think something has gone weird with this and it's the, the tabs are no longer in here. So <laughs> just use your tab key. Just use your tab key um, because you could change and make a hanging indent, which is actually over here where it says indentation options. So I went down to format, align and indent, indentation options, and I could create what's called a hanging indent. So right here where it says special indent, um, hanging, and then we would put it at 0.5 and we would apply. And so every time we have a paragraph, it would literally create an automatic indent for us. So that is another option, but I'm just gonna use the tab. So then just type away, type away. Look at that, everything's the same. Times New Roman, 12.5, and it looks good. When I get to the middle end of a line, look, oh, it's still double space, that's fantastic. We want it to be double space, you know? So just remember that. So <laughs> there we go, this is proper MLA format. Make sure that you're using it so that way your documents are set up properly. Make sure your title looks like this unless you are told something differently. Um, but this is traditional MLA format. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day. I will see you all in class. Bye.